we are going to learn how to build a Jenkins pipeline in order to build a Docker image and then push the Docker image into Azure container registry. Okay, so this is the use case, right? I do have my um, project setup, which is a Python based project setup in GitHub. I have already Dockerized that by creating a Docker file. And what we are going to do is we are going to create a Jenkins pipeline, which is going to check out the code from GitHub and then it is going to create the Docker image and then it is going to upload the Docker image into ACR, which is nothing but Azure Container Registry. And once the image is uploaded, we are just going to uh, run a Docker container uh, in Jenkins itself, okay? We just want to make sure that our image has been built successfully, right? So this is what we are going to learn in this particular video. Awesome. So this is my website, uh, folks, uh, coachdevops.com. I will be posting the link right below the video as well. Awesome. So let's get started. So if you look at the pre-request, we need to have a Jenkins uh, up and running, right? So this is my Jenkins up and running. Let me log in into my Jenkins. So that is my Jenkins. And uh, we already installed Docker on the Jenkins instance. Okay, so I have already, uh, you know, installed Docker plus I also uh, you know, integrated uh, both Jenkins and Docker by, you know, creating necessary groups and, you know, necessary stuff. Okay, so everything is good. Okay. And then we also need to install Docker plugin as well as Docker pipeline plugin. Okay, we have already installed that. Let's quickly validate that. So let's go to manage Jenkins, manage plugins. And if you go to installed tab, if you type Docker, it should uh, show that you see here. Docker pipeline plugin as well as Docker plugin has been installed. Okay, so perfect. Okay, and then we need to uh, create, uh, you know, Azure container registry. Okay, so we will do that shortly. And then we also need to make sure port 8096 open in the security firewall rule. Okay, so that, you know, we can access the Docker container, which we are going to run on port uh, 8096. Okay, so that is what we need to do. Okay, awesome. So let's do one thing. Let's quickly create uh, Azure Container uh, Registry, okay? So I do have instruction in this particular uh, link, okay? So you can definitely go through that, okay? So let's get started. So I'm going to go to portal.azure.com. I am in uh, portal.azure.com. So let's go ahead and then create Azure Container Registry. So I'm going to use this uh, resource group. So click on the resource group. And we are going to create a container registry, right? So click on add. Uh, sorry, let's do that. No, let's go back. Uh, let's click on create resource and then say container registry. Yeah, this one, click on that one. Click on create. Okay, so I'm going to use that uh, existing resource group. Okay, and then let's give some name. So let's see, right? Uh, let's give this particular name. Okay, uh, you can give any name, it doesn't matter, but I just want to be consistent. So let me give this name and yeah, location is fine and it is asking for the SQ. So you can keep it basic, that is also fine. So let, let me uh, select as basic, perfect. And then click on review and create. So what this is going to do is this is going to validate. Yeah, so validation is passed and then click on create. Awesome. So right now the registry is being created. So this is where we are going to upload our Docker images. Okay, perfect. So this has been created. Let's click on go to resource. Okay, and then, yeah, so this is our, you know, registry, right? Container registry. So go to uh, access keys. Okay, let's go to access keys. So right now, as you can see here, admin user is disabled, right? So let's, uh, you know, uncheck this. Okay, meaning let's select this, let's enable this. Okay, so now, this is our, uh, you know, login URL, right, for our registry. And then this is the username. And then, you know, this is like one of the passwords, okay? So basically, this is what we are going to use in order to connect to uh, ACR uh, from Jenkins, okay? Awesome. So our registry has been created. Now let's go back to the instruction, right? So now, you know, what we can do is we can start creating a pipeline, okay? But before that, uh, let's first make sure uh, we also need to make sure that the registry credential has been created. Okay, so we need to do that. How to do that? Let's go to Jenkins. 
okay and then go to manage Jenkins and manage credentials okay you see here I do have one entry here this is for ACR but let's click on this one okay let me go to update okay so I have already created this entry okay so this is the ID okay and this is a username and as you can see here that is a username right okay this is a username and then let me pick up one of the password here you can use any one of this password let me go ahead and then change the password so that is the password okay perfect and then click on save I'm not going to save this perfect right so now our registry uh, information has been updated under uh, global credentials okay so perfect so this is our uh, you know ID right the credential ID which we are going to use in our Jenkins pipeline okay perfect so everything has been done so now I think we can go ahead and then start creating uh, the pipeline right so let's get started so basically I'm going to create a pipeline here click on new item and then I'm going to say my awesome ACR pipeline okay you can give any name it doesn't matter uh, click on pipeline and say okay okay so let's go to pipeline and then now we can start writing our pipeline I'm going to actually do a declarative pipeline okay so agent any okay and then I'm going to say steps sorry I think it should be stages okay so I'm going to uh, do my first stage which is checkout And this is where we are going to start, uh, you know, checking our our code. And let me actually go to my GitHub repository. So this is my GitHub repository, which we are going to use. And as you can see here, uh, this is a Docker uh, registry, right? Okay. I mean, sorry. Uh, so this is a Docker file. Okay. So so remember, I talked about a Python uh, code, right? So I have already Dockerized this. Okay. And if you want to look at my source code, that is actually over here, right? So basically. Uh, when you access the a Python application which is running inside the Docker container, we are going to see this particular message. Okay, that's all. Right? It's a very simple uh, Python based code. Okay, uh, perfect. So we are going to check out this. Okay, so this is a public uh, repository, right? So let's go to our code. Uh, we just need to generate the code for you know checking out, right? Okay, it's not that big big deal. So you can go to uh, yeah, you can actually go to pipeline syntax. Okay, let's go here, check out. Okay, uh, yeah, so repository URL is this one, right? So put in that, and this is a public repository, so you don't have to give credentials. Uh, let's validate the branch name. Okay, that's the master branch. Okay, perfect. So click on generate pipeline script. Okay, so that's our pipeline script for checking out the code okay so perfect let me first uh, validate that let me first make sure everything is good okay I think this looks good let me click on build now okay there is some error let's see maybe I missed the steps okay I think that's what I, that's what I thought I think I missed uh, steps So now it should check out the code okay awesome so let's continue our code has been checked out okay so let's start uh, you know uh, writing the code for building the docker image so this is the code okay either you can copy it it's not a big deal or you can you know type it no problem so let's go there okay so that is the code for building the docker image okay and we also need to declare you know some variable as well okay okay environment and if you actually see there is the registry name right okay so registry name is nothing but so that is our registry name which is nothing but uh, this one right so that's the registry name so let me provide that okay all right, so now this is going to build the Docker image. Let me validate the syntax. Okay, 
we need to put one more So that should build the uh, Docker image. Let me quickly validate that. Registry name, I think that's that's fine. Okay. Uh, okay, let's save and then click on build now. Okay, so right now it is in the process of building the Docker image. Wow, see here, the image has been built. Okay, but our goal is to upload into uh, Azure Container Registry, right? So we have to build the image accordingly, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, uh, you know, copy the code, this piece of code. So that is going to take care of that, okay? Okay, so if you actually see here, so this is going to uh, you know use that uh, registry URL. So there is a variable we have to declare. That registry URL is nothing but. So this is our registry URL, right? Which is nothing but this one. See that is our registry URL. So let me provide that. Perfect. Okay, and then registry credential. That registry credential is nothing but the one which we have. Uh, created right so that is nothing but acr right so remember we created one credential entry with uh, this username and password this was the username and this was the password right so that is that right so that's a acr okay and then uh, yeah i think that's pretty much and then let's also declare this uh, variable docker image okay perfect Awesome. So what this should do is this should uh, build the Docker image in, in this step, and then it is going to uh, upload the Docker image into uh, you know the container registry ACR, right? Okay. Okay. I think that should do that. Let me make sure everything is good. I think everything is good. The syntax. Okay. Perfect. Apply. Save. Let's go ahead and run build now. Okay. As you can see here now, it is in the process of, you know, tagging it. Yeah, before you upload, you need to tag it accordingly, right? And then right now it is in the process of uploading. Wow, it has already completed, right? So the Docker image has been uploaded into Azure Container Registry. So how, how you can verify that? So let's go to uh, here, right? And then click on repositories here under services tab. Wow, see here, click on this one. Wow, see here, so this is our image, right? So this is our image, as you can see here, 7.32 p.m. So yeah, see, like a minute ago, it just got, uh, you know, uploaded here, right? So that's how, you know, you can upload, uh, you know, the Docker image, right? So let's also do one thing. Let's quickly validate our uh, Docker image, right? Meaning, you know, our image has been uh, good, whether we are able to run the Docker container or not, right? So for that, I have written a couple of stages here. What this is actually going to do is, uh, this is going to, uh, you know, spin up a Docker container, right? This is going to spin up a Docker container. So this is the command, Docker run command, okay? And I'm going to map it to run on 8096, okay? So let's quickly do that. Let's go to our Jenkins pipeline, go to configure, go to pipeline, and uh, let me copy and paste those two lines. So basically what this is going to do is, you know, if there are any previous containers running, it is going to stop those container and then this one this particular uh, you know stage this is going to run uh, you know container right uh, it's going to map it on 8096 okay and i have already provided the registry information the image information everything right this is all dynamic right because we have declared the variables over here right perfect so click on apply save let's go ahead and run build now Okay, so right now it is in the process of, wow, it is very quick. Wow, see here, uh, everything is success. Let's go back to pipeline. Wow, see here, everything is success. Now we should be able to, uh, you know, access our Docker container, which is actually running on port 8096 as, as per what we actually see, right? So let's go to our uh, 
so it's actually running on the same uh, you know uh, same uh, you know uh, instance right let me copy the uh, url right or uh, the dns name let me go to the browser and uh, say 8096 wow see here so this is our uh, you know python application which is running inside a docker container right that's it guys that's how you can build a docker image and upload into azure container registry thank you for watching